Ben wants to move this table from point A to point B. What will he do? Yes, he will push it in the direction of point B. You see that as he pushes the table, it starts moving. Anything around us that moves, we say that it's in motion. So this table is in motion. And since Ben is also moving along with the table, he is also in motion. In our day-to-day -day life, we see various things moving around us. Simple examples that I can give are vehicles moving on the road, people walking across streets, birds flying in the sky and so on. Do you know that the Earth and the other planets also undergo motion? Yes, they are revolving around the Sun. You can give me thousands of such examples of motion. But what if I ask you to tell me the definition of motion? How can we define something as intuitive as motion of a body? Well, for that, we need to look at what exactly happens to a body when it's in motion. Let's say this vehicle moves from point A to point B. You see that as it's moving towards B, its position in space changes with time. Initially, it was here, then here, and now after some time, it's here. Notice what's changing. The position of the object and the time too, which is changing anyway. The change in position of a body with time is what we call motion in simple words. Whenever there's a change in position of a body, we say it's either undergoing motion or has undergone motion. Let's discuss about the different types of motion now. The simplest type of motion is called the rectilinear motion. Notice that there is a word line in there. So we define this type of motion as a motion in a straight line. Yes, rectilinear motion is nothing but motion in a straight line. So if an object is moving along this straight line path, we say that it's performing rectilinear motion. For example, when a car is moving in a straight line on a straight road, it's performing rectilinear motion. There is one more thing that I want to discuss with you in this video. Assume you're on a railway platform watching the train pass by. You are at rest. For you, both the train as well as the passengers sitting inside are in motion. But will the people sitting inside the train say the same about the other passengers in the train? For a person sitting inside, the people in the train are not moving. They are at rest. So for the observer at rest on the platform, the people inside the train are moving. But for the person sitting inside, they are at rest. What does this tell us? This means that the motion of any object is relative to the observer. For different observers, the motion may be different. We will learn more about this in higher grades. In this video, we understood the definition of motion. We also discussed one of the types of motion called rectilinear motion. In the next video, we will see a few other types of motion.